Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's time to do my account tour. The 4th of July deals are over. I got all the ones that I wanted, and we got some new champions. I ranked them up and all that good stuff. So if you missed the video, go back, look on my channel, and you'll see that video. All right, but I wanted to make my rank ups and everything before I did this um, account tour because my account is going to be a little stable for a little bit, just a little bit of time uh, before I start opening up crystals again. All right, so now first, my sigil wore out. I, I'll get the sigil again sometime, but I want you to see here. And sorry if you missed the video, go check a look. Um, but as you can see, Hercules is my top champ. Uh, my prestige is currently 14,084. That's going to change. And as you can see here, the rest of my profile. All right. And you can take a look down here. PvP Fights 1, I stay in that arena. That's where I get my resources for this account. All right. The majority. Now, someone asked me the last time I did one of these if I could do this show my progress in the game so let's start with um, book one and as you can see i am finished with acts one all the way through six and for act um seven this is where i'm at i have uh fully explored chapter one, and I have completed chapter two and chapter three. So chapter four is still yet to be completed. And of course, I'll start exploring uh, Act Seven. I was waiting for July four. Now I'm very close to a second rank four. I will have one, either the Eternity of Pain uh, that's coming very soon, um, the second iteration of it, or doing this but i will be um paragon very very shortly my prestige will be going up all right but in any case this is where i'm at right now okay let's take a look at the uh actually i'll, I'll take a look at the uh, karina challenges i have not done but maybe i don't know three or four of these challenges, but you can see what I have left to do. And to be honest with you, I'm not planning to do these anytime soon. Um, maybe not ever, but we'll, we'll see. Fortunately, um, Kabam has been increasing the resources, so I don't feel like I'm being left behind if I don't do these Karina challenges. Because really, they should be there to give people an advantage if they do them or you know little challenge i'm just not a fan of those all right so now let's take a look at the uh roster and there's a new feature that's going to make this awesome okay and thanks to kabam zero we have a filter that's going to make it so much easier to go through and let me show you that right now so we're going to start with my six stars and as you can see down here we've got rankings so of course nobody has any rank fives but i can do this and now you can see my rank fours i have one hercules all right, next, these are my rank threes. And as you can see here, these are the champs that I use the most. You can see I use some in uh, Alliance War uh, and I use some in Alliance Quest. But these are like my favorites. I make sure that I rank them up. Kitty Pride is not awakened, but I do have an awakening gem. If I wanted to, I could awaken her, but we'll see. 
we'll see on that. But that is my rank threes. Okay, now here are my rank twos. These all are possible rank threes. Okay, I still have them at rank two. I just recently took Null up to rank two. You can see the little arrow because I have a rank up gem from two to three. So I can take any of these guys uh, to rank three. So I might take one of them or I might take one of these guys. Rank one. Love that um, feature uh, on the filter. So all of these are rank ones. You'll notice the arrow, upgrade arrow is there because I also have a generic one to two. So I could take any of these to rank two, use the other gem, take them to rank three. So any of these could go straight to rank uh, three. Now, the reason that these are rank one is not because they're bad. I just don't use them. But they're there, ready, if I need to. A lot of these I have as rank five, um, five stars. So unless I'm going to take them to rank three, the five star usually uh, does what I need it to do. Let's look at that. And I recently got some new champs. And I'll show you. Uh, a little trick at the end to see how many uh, six stars, five stars, four stars you have. Um, but I'll have that information, of course, uh, up there. There we go. All right. And I'll show you the champs I don't have. So I have plenty of six stars uh, to still acquire. Okay. See, so look at that. Still have champs that I would like to get. Some of them I don't really care. Some of them would be really cool to have. Omega Sentinel, I would like her. Um, great prestige. Okay, y'all can see this. Some of them are trophy champs like uh, Thanos. All right. So those are the six stars. Now, let's take a look at my five stars and my rank fives. So I'm not going to uh, go into them uh, all that much here. Um, I rank up champs because I do a lot of arena, as you see. So I still rank up these champions. See, Null is rank five. Um, I don't really use my five stars all that much, um, except when there's like a specific need. All right. So those are my rank fives and you'll see the breakdown of how many rank fives I have all that, but you could also count them for yourself. I love that, uh, filter feature it makes it so much easier. Okay. Here are my rank fours and a lot of them are rank four and will be ranked four for a long time. For example, Tigra. Why would I take this Tigra to rank five when I have the six star Tigra? And she is awakened. No reason. So Tigra is probably going to stay there for a while. Black Widow. Um, there's a Black Widow Deadly Origins as well. I don't have as a six star. I might take one of them up. But yeah, as you can see, I can rank up some of them. Some of them, I just finished ranking up so many champions, so I don't have the catalyst uh, for a few of them. And see, Overseer, I hear is pretty decent. Would love him as a six star. May take this one up if I, if I need him for something. All right. And um, actually, let me show you And I'll show you after I, I finish showing you this. Um, here's my three star, uh, my rank threes. And then I'll show you the champs I don't have. Because I have most of the five stars in the game. 
I just love that Misty Knight profile. Remind me of Angela Davis. Go, girl, go. Got the Hulkling recently. Wiccan is, is in the arena right now, and I will pick him up next round. Okay. Rank twos, none. And rank ones, none. All right. Unowned. Those are the only five stars I don't have. Like I said, Wiccan I'm going to get. Sauron probably uh, either in a, a crystal or when he uh, comes to the basic arena, I'll grab him. And you can see Wolverine X. That's a, um, a trophy exclusive. Gold pool, same thing. Iron Fist, same thing. So Abomination, Black Bolt, uh, and Electro are really the exclusives. Once I have those, once I have Abomination, Black Bolt, and Electro, and I pick up, of course, Wiccan and, and Sauron, I'll have pretty much all of the five stars that you can get from the crystals. And I'll only need the, um, and I love to collect, uh, I'll only need the uh, trophy exclusive champs. All right. Now, let's go to the four stars. And it's a very similar situation, but I have a lot. Um, uh, I think it was uh, 119 last I checked, but I'll, I'll do the count again. But these are all of my rank five four stars. And I know people ask me, is it still worth taking up four stars? Depends on if you do arena. Now, Kabam has in the past and may in the future uh, release content that you can only use four stars in. So, you know, don't neglect your four stars, but if you're an arena grinder like me, I'm still ranking my four stars. Now, I only rank them usually for the level up. If I don't, ha if I don't feel like using any of the real bigger resources or something like that, uh, I will take up a four star instead. You know, there might be an advancement on, I'll double dip, but really, the goal is those units from the level up. All right. And let's take a look at the rank fours. And I just slowly rank these up over time. You can see I don't really have, uh, because I did so many rank ups recently, I don't have, I don't believe, uh, any T4 basics. Let me see. Yeah. I have no T4 basics. So... I couldn't take up any of these. Level up is coming. I can buy some more from the Glory Store, but uh, at the moment, I used up all my Tier 4 basics. All right, and then Rank 3s. I just got Wiccan, so he's my only Rank 3. He will go to Rank 4 probably when there's a Mystic Advancement and a level up at the same time. No Rank 2s. No rank ones. And let's see. Unowned. Deadpool and Thanos. Thanos I could possibly get uh, in the gifting crystals. But the Deadpool is behind a paywall. So won't be getting him anytime soon. Uh, they've had arenas for him, but you have to spend money in order to enter the arena and then you grind the arena. So that's why I don't have a four-star uh, Deadpool. All right, and let's go to the three stars. Hey, <laughs> no rank fives, not, not possible. Um, rank fours, and most of them are rank four. Um, I think Wiccan probably is the only one that's not. Don't think I took him up. Mm, yep, 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 yep. And again, I take them up during like level ups and, and advancements, uh, mainly to, to get those units. Need those units. And my units are looking mighty low because of the 4th of July deals. Yep, rank three, Wiccan. 
one of these times it'll be a level up mystic advancement and I'll take him up. I'll, um, awaken him, pump all the uh, mystic sig stones into him, all that good stuff. All right. No rank twos and no rank ones. And the only three star I don't have, let's go down here is Deadpool again behind a paywall. All right, and finally, well, not finally, we'll, we'll look at the, um, <laughs> the one stars uh, just for completeness. But my two stars, I believe, no, I, st I do have some that I just recently got from Marvel Insider. So I do have uh, some that are not maxed out. And there are plenty of two stars I still don't have. But with Marvel Insider, and that's a site uh, that you can earn free points just for doing things in the game. You have to be from uh, North America, I think, or something like that. Um, and they'll offer exclusive two stars for those points. So it's free. Um, let's go ahead down here to the two rank twos. Don't have any of those. Rank ones. Um, Professor X, America Chavez, and Rintra, those three I got recently from a bundle, all right? And you can look here. These are all the champs I still don't have as two stars. So there's plenty of two stars to get. So I do get excited grabbing the uh, two stars, you know? I'm a collector, what can I say? Um, all right, now finally... We will just, for completeness, take a look at the one stars. I have them all. That's it. All the one stars, there are none that are not maxed. And, um, oh, yeah, Deadpool. That's about it. <laughs> um, but I have all of the ones that you can get. Like I said, I don't um, buy offers or anything like that. So, never been able to pick up a Deadpool. One of these days, if they ever remove him from the paywall, I will grind for a one, two, three, four <laughs> uh, star Deadpool. But for now, we don't. All right. That is going to do it for the account tour. Hope you enjoyed yourself. Oh, before I go, I did promise that I was going to show you um, a little trick. Over here, Ultron's Domain, that's the uh, incursions. If you go in here and you see the rewards tier bottom right over here, if you hit the I for information there, you'll go here and you can see it gives you a total. So for six stars, I have a total of 152. I have 217 five stars. I have 220 four stars. Okay, I have 219 three stars. And it doesn't, yeah, it doesn't go any lower than that. But that's just a quick way if somebody asks you, how many six stars do you have? You can go right here and uh, it'll give you a count. Wish they would put that someplace else. It'd be awesome. Like on your um, profile somewhere, it would be awesome to just have all the stats like that. Uh, but anyway, that's going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching the video. Feel free to hit that like button if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day.